there are certain things that must be activated in your life for supernatural elevation or supernatural promotion to take place the first thing is that you must be remembered you must be what somebody say remember me talk to me say remember me remember joseph was forgotten in prison amen and because he was forgotten in prison he had an extra two years that was unnecessary in the prison so to be elevated you must be remembered lift up your right hand to heaven say my father my god today i tap into the grace to be remembered i need the grace to be remembered the same way that joseph was then remembered cause me to be remembered as i pray right now in the holy ghost with my right hand lifted up i release the grace to be remembered open your mouth and begin to pray the grace to be remembered if you are remembered you'll be promoted remember me remember me when it is well with you there are people who forgot you they must remember you jehovah god bring my name to people's remembrance they must remember me they must remember me i prophesy in the name of jesus Jesus. They must remember me. Joseph, you must be remembered. Mephibosheth, you must be remembered. When Mephibosheth was remembered, his life was changed. I release the grace to be remembered upon your life in the name of Jesus. Remember me. Remember me. Hallelujah. Psalm 71, 21. He said, I will increase your greatness and comfort you on every side somebody say lord you promised to increase my greatness that is supernatural promotion as i pray now in the holy ghost with my right hand lifted up increase my greatness the lord is increasing somebody's greatness in the name of jesus lord increase my greatness on every side yes i'm great today but increase my greatness as i increase my kingdom commitments increase my greatness as i increase kingdom priority mentality increase my greatness as i increase my commitment to the things of God increase my greatness increase my greatness we are activating promotion supernatural elevation supernatural Lord increase the greatness of your children in the name of Jesus hallelujah when God wants to elevate you you will be honored the Bible says, and Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. First Chronicles 4, verse number 9. Somebody say, more honorable. Somebody say, say it again, say more honorable. And then he prayed, oh Lord God, verse 10, bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. So God increased him. And he increased even his honor. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father God, I realize for me to be promoted, I must be honored. I pray, oh God, that people would honor me in the name of Jesus. Cause me to be honored. Lift up your right hand and begin to pray. Saul was honored. He was promoted. Uzziah was honored as a young man and he was promoted. Honor has nothing to do with being a young person. God can honor a young person Uziah was 16 years old God is placing honor on you it's an ingredient for elevation God must cause honor to come upon your life Lord honor me honor me Jehovah God cause honor to be bestowed upon my life in the name of Jesus if the people to honor your grace are not available, you remain stranded. There are many people whose grace has not been honored. So though they are anointed, they are irrelevant. God must raise people to honor you. Are you listening to me? 
Honor can be bestowed upon you. I don't just want us to pray. I need you to understand the prayer points. Honor can be bestowed upon you. The Bible says that, I think it's Deuteronomy 34 verse 9, that Moses laid hands on Joshua the son of Nun. He bestowed honor on him and the people began to listen to him. When you are honored, people listen to you. Are you getting it? How many are interested in that grace? Now, that grace causes for elevation. Understand what causes you to be elevated. Don't just shout elevation, elevation. No, let's, we, are, we are praying about the different ingredients. This is the direction that the Lord told me to go. He said, pray about what is required for somebody to be elevated. Don't just pray about the elevation. There are small ingredients required. Did you get it? So we are not just saying, to that cake, to that cake. No, we are dealing with the eggs. We are dealing with the flour. We are dealing with the oil. Are, are, are you getting what I'm saying here? The different ingredients. It is frustrating. Because sometimes you do good things and the people are not there to honor the grace. You are only rewarded when you are honored. For many people, this is a, a, a big deficiency in your life. David killed the lion and the bear in the wilderness. There was no one to honor him. You need to pray and say, Lord, I want the grace for all my destiny helpers to be lined up and to be ready to honor the grace. Until you are honored, you remain stranded. So we are going to pray that you are going to be honored. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father God, let your honor be bestowed upon me. Line up. Destiny help us. Who honor the grace you have placed upon my life. In the name of Jesus. You must be honored in the land. Hallelujah. People must see what God has bestowed upon you. God has put a powerful business idea on you. But you have not yet been honored. In the name of Jesus. People who are able to honor you. I release them upon your life. The grace to be honored I need it oh God it's not pride to desire for honor it is biblical Jabez was honored more than his brethren Lord increase my honor the grace to be honored I release it upon your life, KPM. You must be honored. You must be honored. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For you to be elevated, you must be rewarded. I love what David said. And this is a question that you must ask. What shall be done for the man who solves these problems? David was tired of solving problems with no, with no reward. You see, the devil makes us feel like it is a carnal thing to look for a reward. No. David, a man after God's own heart, he asked the question, King, you've got a problem called Goliath. Before I kill Goliath, what shall be done for this man? Ask about the reward before you engage the problem wisdom you must know exactly how much you are going to get from a transaction what shall be done don't don't work for free it's not being a christian uh -uh. no god condemned that servant because he had no profit profit is what you have left after the, after the transaction david was saying after this whole thing is over what am i taking home don't be so desperate to get work that you don't negotiate what shall be done for the man who solves this problem. Did you understand that? You are rewarded for problems that you solve. You want to make money? Solve problems. So, what does God do? God creates the stage where there's a problem that only you can solve. You get to the scene. You assess the problem. You say, I've practiced this thing at the backside of the desert. I can bring down this Goliath. But don't just do it as a favor for the king. No. 
negotiate what shall be done for the man who solves this problem many have just been happy to be said well done well done well done no what shall be done for the man who solves these problems we are going to pray for the grace to be rewarded say my father my god today i am praying for the grace to be rewarded in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost as i pray with my right hand lifted up i cry out for the grace to be rewarded i have done too many things and not been rewarded lift up your right hand and begin to pray you are anointed but you have not been rewarded lord i want the grace to be rewarded so I don't complain about doing ministry. I need the grace to be rewarded. So I don't complain about business. I need the grace to be rewarded. Joe, listen to this. This will bless you. As, as the body of Christ, we have been satisfied with open doors. And we have prayed for what? Open doors. But we have not prayed about the reward. So you have entered into places. You did the work, but there was no reward. There was the grace for open doors, but there was no grace for the reward. Hey, this thing will change our lives. I'm telling you, this thing will change our lives. Remember, your seat is on the altar. Hello? When you are praying this prayer, your seat is on the altar. And this is now, you are now telling the seed the things you want. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father God, I need the grace to be rewarded doors have opened the adversaries at the door i've dealt with them now i need the grace to be rewarded do you know what that grace is the grace for money to hit your account we have prayed for the contracts we got the contracts but where's the money there's no money because we didn't pray for the grace to be rewarded and reward is always financial i don't do business as hobbies i'm not interested in hobbies are you interested say father god the grace to be rewarded financially i need that grace lift up your right hand and pray these prayers they will change things i'm telling you this is a game changing prayer session uh, even you who's watching me online whether it's live or delayed uh, there is a grace coming upon you the grace to be rewarded uh, the grace to be paid uh, this thing of looking for payments no the payments must look for you where there's grace they will look for you to pay you uh, there must be missed calls uh, by people who are looking to pay you the grace to be rewarded lord i need that grace yeah i need the grace to be rewarded in the name of jesus clap your hands if this is blessing you for you to be elevated you need the grace for your gift to be discerned People don't reward where they don't discern, discern your gift. They must see your gift. They must perceive, and I perceive that this is a man of God. When people see you as ordinary, they don't reward you. So you must pray that your gift must be discerned. Do you know, since I started praying these prayers, do you know what the, the, the buzzword online about me? Do you know what it is? Where has he been? How many have heard that question? You know why? I was hidden because I didn't pray these prayers. I prayed my study, Lord, my grace must be discerned and must be rewarded. Discerned and rewarded. If you don't pray these things, pastors, you'll be frustrated. See, people are taking me for granted. Uh -uh, you have not prayed for your gift to be discerned 
and rewarded. Papasa chaipo chaipo. Listen to me. People they need your gift, but they don't reward your gift. So you are frustrated about something you should be praying about. With the correct prayer point, with digital precision, Lord, I want the grace for my gift to be discerned. They must say, this man is gifted. They said this about Joseph. That's what Pharaoh said. He says, ah, ah, listen, no man can do these things except God be with them. He says, well, it's obvious. The spirit of God is in you. He says, no, we're not, we're not going to look for someone to do the job. You are the man. Pharaoh had never met Joseph. But you know what, what Joseph was praying in, in, in prison? My gift must be rewarded. There is a day when I will meet the king. The king must see that this person is gifted. God, am I talking to somebody here? David was at the backside of the desert. His gift was descent. He was called. Listen, when, when, when your gift is descent, they will call you. If you are still calling people, they have not descended the gift. They must call you. They must look for you. Hallelujah. Ah, we need this grace. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Lord, I want the grace for my gifting to be discerned. You have a powerful business model. People are not seeing your value. I wish I was talking to somebody. Why is that boy happy just to date you and waste your time? But he doesn't see you as marriage material. He has not discerned that gifting in you. When your gifting is not discerned, unotambis rangua. David was practicing at the backside of the desert, but you have practiced enough. Wakanaka badabana ruzwana. Kana jukono kana na snabasa. The people to reward your gifting are made available when you cry out for the grace for them to be available. You must be rewarded. Your gift must be descent. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father God, I cry out unto you. My gifting, my skills must be discerned, must be rewarded. In the name of Jesus, lift up your right hand and pray. Something is happening. Today is the day my giftings are discerned. People must look for me. They must look for me. Mark, 11, Mark 1 verse 37. Jesus, all men are looking for you. They were discerning that he is a mighty man of God. Lord, I am praying for my gifting to be discerned. And not just discerned, but rewarded. I must be rewarded. My business proposal must no longer be ignored. I have been ignored long enough. I must be rewarded. In the name of Jesus. Is this helping somebody? The next thing is you must be recognized. The grace to be recognized. Do you know sometimes you can do a good job, but the credit goes to someone else. Mordecai saved the king and it was forgotten. He was not recognized. But the book of remembrance was opened and the king asked a question. What was done for this man? And the answer was nothing. Ah, there are too many things you have done and you are not recognized. Nothing was done for you, but you did good things. Ah, yeah, we need to change the order. Lift up the right hand. I want you to be aggressive. Say, Father God, thank you for this revelation. I must be recognized for the good things that I have done. Do you know for the most part, this is why the Lord woke me up early and began to explain these things to me. For the most part, Christians, they feel bad about praying the things we're talking about. It's like, for example, another one is coming to mind, the grace for influence. When we think of influential people, we think of carnal people. 
we think of unsaved people hello but you need influence in this world you can't rise if your business is not influential you must be recognized we thought could know the grace for recognition is like pride no i must be recognized it must be acknowledged it must be acknowledged i said it must be acknowledged i decree it must be acknowledged the things you have done dog masawi they must be acknowledged there are too many things you did and they were not acknowledged so if they are acknowledged, not acknowledged you go and reward it and then you are stagnant ah, yeah, 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 yeah. so we have been praying against stagnation when you should have been praying to be recognized hallelujah we are changing the order these prayer points will cause you to prosper kpf i'm seeing you being recognized lift up your right and say father god for all the things you have helped me to do and i've not been recognized i need the grace to be recognized things in the past that I did things in the present that I'm doing things I'll do in the future I want the grace to be recognized as I pray with my right hand lifted up I command the grace to be recognized open your mouth and pray KPM you must be recognized I said you must be recognized these are life changing prayers in the name of Jesus they must be recognition hallelujah hallelujah there are many business people here you help people and when it comes to their testimony they exclude you in the story So what happened is we've been making a mistake. We've been getting offended. Say, the problem is you. You didn't pray to be recognized and rewarded because it takes a grace. If you don't activate a grace, you can't experience the grace. We're activating it today. Hallelujah. The next grace that must be activated is the grace for you to have favor. You must have favor. Not just favor with the king, but favor with all people. The Bible says Esther had favor with everyone who saw her. In fact, the Bible said everyone who saw her loved her. I didn't know that was possible until I read that scripture. I mean, including Kakutu, Kaiti Kakamona there's something wrong with you someone else comes the dog is friendly everyone must like you in this kingdom it matters who likes you because who likes you they can change your life listen do you know one, one demonic statement that we were taught by Lucifer and we, we perfected that statement is I don't need people you have said it before. You have said it before. I don't need people. And yet God blesses through. Even if you give, it shall be given unto you. How? Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Shall, shall men give to your bosom. So if you remove men from that equation, you are finished. Say, Father, I repent for removing men from the equation. Do you know, in an attempt to edify the sovereignty of God, we remove men from the equation of our life. We said, all I need is God. All I need is you, Lord. You are lying. We are correcting. We are correcting. Come on, we are correcting. We are correcting. Say you need men. Say you need men. When you give on God's altar, God adjust your character so that men can like you appreciate you and bless you people who are very very nasty are not givers when you are a giver God will rebuke you God will correct you God will bring someone to tell to say hey look don't will you, when you see these people don't say this be all things to all men that you might save some be all things to to all men that you might benefit from some. There are things that you cannot do at City of Harare. 
Sometimes you go to those places. Don't go waka fakers and fakers. When you go to the passport office, you must dress down. Because you get there, waka blinger. Already, but one problem now. They go shy shy. Vada uto kuratiza. But you go there, you dress down, you act like one of them. You park your car. Look at that. And you humble yourself. When I go there, I'm not an apostle. You want, you want people to know your title everywhere. No, you all know the mambo, but it's so strong. I know for your proposal, Yago. Mambo, I can't say good favor. Can I snuggle on my paper? And my paper, I didn't through those people. The grace to be liked by all men. Oh, this is powerful. It's life changing. Say, Jehovah God. I need men in the equation of my life. It's amazing. Paul met with Jesus on the road to Damascus. But Jesus referred him to Ananias. If Paul, because Paul spent like 18 years with Ananias. Read your Bible. He spent a long time with Ananias. If he had an attitude with Ananias, he would never have been the Apostle Paul. There are people who say, Hey, I can do that. I can do that. As no one will go through Jesus. Two or no, Jesus. I can't get away from that. Two or no. Hey, hey, Paul, can you read two thirds of the New Testament? As it all know, Jesus and Ananias is to know. Your inability to deal with men keeps you stagnant. Lord, give me the grace to deal well with men. Hallelujah. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, I want the grace to deal with all men. Big or small, they must like me. Lift up your right hand and pray. La tabaka zato bahaya. Kete bazo tabasha talabahaya. Anabake la bazato la baka zato la mahaya. Do you know? Listen to me. Something is coming to my mind. A student, I was reminded by you, Danai. This is Danai, right? I was reminded by you. Do you know? Ti uno kuna kugona stere kuchikoro, but you get a teacher attitude. Teacher no kuna kuchakira my mistakes. A good teacher, you got to remark. I know gonna justify 65 percent yo yo instead of 82 percent. Your attitude in a man, my max, I don't go, my max, I don't go with there. So when you have a good attitude, people are willing to overlook some weaknesses. This is wisdom. Say, Father. I want the grace for all men to like me. Help me to revise my character so all men must like me. I don't have to prove a point. Men must like me so I can be lifted. Raise your right hand and pray. I need the grace for men to like me, Jehovah. I need that grace. Help me to remove a stinking attitude. I must have a good attitude. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, I'm purchasing the point. The Bible said, David behaved wisely in the palace. He behaved what? Wisely in the palace. And the Bible says, and the king loved David. What made the king to love David? He behaved wisely. It's not all about your skills. Sometimes your behavior comes into play. So though you are skilled, behave. Say, may I never be big in my own eyes. In a way that will make me lose favor. May I have a good attitude in the palace. 
may I behave wisely in the palace in the name of Jesus raise your right hand and begin to pray God must shift your attitude people must like me so God can use them to bless me people must like me so God can use them to bless me help me to revise my attitude oh my father my God I need that special grace in the name of Jesus the next thing you need is the pro the 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 problem solving grace the problem solving grace you need to pray about that imagine if you solve big problems with a powerful very good attitude ah. say lord i need the wisdom i pray for wisdom to be able to solve problems help me to be a solution center. Raise your right hand and begin to pray. I need the grace to solve people's problems. Father, grant me the grace to solve people's problems. I need that anointing to solve problems. In the name of Jesus, grant me the grace, oh my Father, my God. What do you need to be elevated? You need your name to be changed. What is that? That is the, the grace for God to change your reputation. Sometimes people don't lift you because they still remember the bad things you did. You need the grace so they forget. Why do people always remember the bad you do? You have not activated this next prayer point. Say, Father, I want the grace. For people to forget the nonsense I did in the past. I made mistakes, but they can forget them. Lift up your right hand and begin to pray. Lord, I need people to forget the bad things I did. Change my name from Jacob to Israel. They must remember me for good and not for evil. In the name of Jesus, I cry out for that grace. In the name of Jesus, Lord, please change my name. There are things that I did that are wrong, that gave me a bad name. Lord, I cry out for the grace for me to have a good name. People must forget the bad and they must remember the good that I did. It is a grace. Lord, I want that grace in the name of Jesus. Oh, clap your hands if you are being blessed. What do you need for you to rise? You need an authentic deliverance. Genuine, genuine deliverance must change your life. Are you here? Genuine what? Deliverance must change your life. I'll prove it to you. In the book of Mark, chapter number 5, from verse 1 down to verse number 20, there's a man there called Legion. He was delivered by Jesus. Hello? And proof that he was properly delivered after all the demons had gone. The Bible says he sat in his right mind. It didn't end there. Then the Bible says that he went and he evangelized in ten cities. True deliverance must help you to increase your territory. He had influence over ten cities. A man who was mad, that is deliverance. Say real deliverance. So deliverance is not, is not just about rolling on the ground. No. There must be accompanying results. Proof of your deliverance is not to manifest. To manifest as proof that there's a problem, not proof that you've been delivered. Proof that you've been delivered is results. Pastors, focus on the results, not on the rolling of the... Nas one roll on the ground. Yes. Tango not one problem. Kuma testimony. Ezra zoitika. After varuta. Dozo truguda. Aka ruta failure. Tadakona success. Yes. Say, Lord, I want the grace for real deliverance. Like what happened to Legion, the madman of Gadarene. After he was fully delivered, he went into 10 cities 
and he had influence over 10 cities. I am praying for authentic deliverance. Raise your right hand and begin to pray. It's a grace. And all marveled after that. After he had influence over 10 cities, people marveled. There must be a marvelous testimony because of your total deliverance. And that's what we do here at KPM. Permanent solutions to spiritual problems with multiple testimonies every single day. Proof of deliverance is the testimonies, Jimenza. That's proof of the deliverance. Ah, la tabako tamahaya. You who's praying, pray that Lord, when I'm delivered, there must be real testimonies. Hallelujah. What will change your life? Authentic power to prosper. Power to prosper when you are really empowered you are empowered to prosper you need power to prosper because there's a competition on the marketplace and those people are looking for power from the occult so it's altar versus altar that's why you need to service the altar that's why you must be submitted to instructions from the altar that's why you need to pray for the men on the altar that's why you must connect to the altar because the marketplace is altar versus altar. So when you service this altar, you receive power to prosper. When you have power, you can push people spiritually out of deals and contracts. Are you getting it? Say, Father, I need power to prosper. And that power comes by servicing your altar. As I pray now, because I'm connected to this altar, Father, connect me to power to prosper. It's not just about giving on the altar. I must get power to prosper in return. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, grant me power to prosper. Grant me power to prosper. I need power to rise. Jehovah. Deuteronomy 8 verse 18 says, and then I shall remember the Lord my God that is giving her zakah. Then he gives me power to prosper. Father, grant me the power Power to prosper I need that power to prosper that I may establish the covenant of God that I may fulfill my part of the covenant Jehovah God I need power to prosper I command financial stability upon your life the power to prosper may you never struggle again may God give you grace in your transport arrangements power to prosper lord i need that power lord i need that grace i need the grace to prosper hallelujah how do i rise i need the grace to escape i'm almost done the grace to escape psalm 124 verse 7 hands like a bird i have escaped you shall escape witchcraft you shall escape the power of the occult you shall escape wizard you shall escape national economic problems i said you are escaping i'm talking about you lift up your right hand say father i need the grace to escape the things happening around me grant me the grace to escape jehovah I want the grace to escape spiritual problems. Uh, open your mouth and begin to pray. This one, pray, clap in your hands. Pray, clap in your hands. Because it's a deliverance prayer. I must escape, Jehovah. I must escape these problems. In the name of Jesus. The next grace you need is the grace to be handpicked. The grace to be handpicked. They will say, not you, not you, not you, not you, but you. You must be picked. It's not always the best players that are playing in the soccer team, in the national team. There are people. There are people. Lord, I want the grace to be picked. Oh, you think it's not in the Bible? 
in the book of Esther chapter number 6 for the king to hand pick Mordecai he lost his sleep put it in your Bible so you can pray prayers for someone who needs to pick you to lose sleep the people who must give you your job must lose sleep say Jehovah God I want the grace to be hand picked cause the king to lose sleep they must pick me lift up your right hand and begin to pray your company must be picked in the name of jesus your cv must be the one hand picked hallelujah your proposal must be picked in the name of jesus lord i want the grace the grace to be hand picked i want that grace upon my life as i am hand picked my life must change i need Need the grace uh, to be promoted uh, but I want, the, I want the grace to be picked uh, cause me to be picked Jehovah God uh, in the name of Jesus uh, I decree I must be hand picked the next grace you need is the performance grace you must perform well. There's one statement in the Bible that always keeps my feet on the ground. The Bible says, and the Lord regretted making Saul king. It's in your Bible. Find it to me. That means God had picked him and he didn't perform. I'm now a keeper at the zoo. What is this? <laughs> Am I speaking some things? You can be picked and not perform. And Saul went no more to Samuel went no more to see Saul until the day of his death. Nevertheless, Samuel mourned for Saul, and the Lord regretted that he had made Saul king over Israel. Saul did not perform. First Samuel 15:35. I want the grace to perform that those who engage me. Are you listening to me? They must say he performs. Can I do my results end up at 99 Park Lane? My anointing must perform. Hey, I'm teaching you my secrets now. These are my secrets. Lord, when people bring their offerings, Lord, it's not just about collecting offerings. No, I want the results to be irrefutable. I want the testimonies to be beyond argument. I want the financial testimonies to be quick, 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 quick. Not this by this time next year. Lord, people cannot wait until this time next year. So, Father, now about my envelope. These are your envelopes of your seeds. You see that? This one, Tafara, you come to my study every day. These ones, I pray like this in my study. Wakarara yo, 2 a.m. This is how you get your harvest. Wearing my pajamas in my gown. Father, all these people, they have sown seed into my life. They have trusted in the anointing. Jehovah, do not let them mock this anointing. I command supernatural results upon their lives. May the anointing perform for them, Jehovah God. Every tither, open the windows of heaven. Every sacrifice must be unto results. Man to quick results. In the name of Jesus, I command a change of story for every tither, every giver, every seed sower, every partner, every sacrifice. Jehovah must command a change of story. In the name of Jesus, the anointing must perform. Do not allow me to be mocked and to scorn. Pastors, are you learning? Don't just collect envelopes and put them under in your drawer. Because
Because if the anointing does not perform, the people will mock you. Your business must perform. It's not just about you getting married. As a wife, you must perform. As a husband, you must perform. A woman must not regret marrying you. Be grace to perform. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, I want the grace to perform. When you open doors for me, you give me an opportunity. You give me a chance. I don't want to blow the chance like soul. I want to perform. So, Akanzi, listen to this outbid. This will bless you. Hansi, I would have established your kingdom forever. That means Saul had the capacity to veto the plans of making David king. Are you listening to this? If Saul had done the right thing, we would never have read about David. He was hand-picked, but he messed up. Lift up your right hand. Say, Lord, I want my kingdom to be established forever. Say, Lord, I want my kingdom to be established forever. Help me to perform. When a man of God anoints business people, they must perform on the church bills. No, they must perform. Not just to look at me and I pay all the bills by myself. I say, ah, I regret promoting this one. After I regret, what's the next thing that happens? Never forget the principle of replacement in the kingdom. God is not desperate. You are the one who's desperate. God is not desperate. And remember, I'm desperate for you. God will never sing, I'm desperate for you. He's got options. May you perform. May you perform. May your parents never ever reward giving, uh, regret giving birth to you. The grace to perform. You have not prayed about your sexual life. You have left it to chance. Father, I want the grace to please my husband. Lord, the grace to satisfy my wife. It's in your Bible. It's in your Bible. It's in your Bible. The Bible says, I think it's the book of Proverbs. He's talking about a man being faithful. He says, the breasts of your wife must satisfy you find the scripture if the wife does not pray that the breast she has satisfy her husband they are replacement breasts and the devil will market them ah church listen to this maybe I should just stop this prayer meeting as a loving dear and a graceful doe let her breast satisfy you all the time and always be what enraptured with her love so the only love you must want is the love of your spouse but you know the church is not praying this now not my text <laughs> men of god number 10 yeah my text no pray that your body would satisfy your husband pray lord let my eyes be for my wife only like job i make a covenant with my eyes not to look at a young girl put it up there the job will all this nonsense will stop in the body of christ if you pray this kind of prayers Eh, scripture. 
Aos ku mujigisa scripture yo. Paul ku bika ipo pae as he eats this food kola di bakida bahaya let him be entrapped with my love. The Lord is giving me another prayer point. If I please text it to me later on. This is the prayer point. Do you know there are many people with powerful business ideas? Hello? Very good proposals. Very good capital base. But they have bad employees. The Bible says, find it to me, I will give you men for your life. I will give you men for your project. I will give you faithful men. The Bible says a faithful man who can find. It's a question. It is an answer. Do you know who can find? Jehovah. Lord, I want the grace for faithful, skillful men to locate me to advance my vision. Sometimes you have faithful men that are not skillful. They just hang around you but they don't know what to do. <laughs> so you need to pray for faithful, skillful men. Not just faithful men, not just skillful men, but the combination is powerful. Faithful and skillful. They don't steal from you but they are very good at their job. Some people who are very good at their job, they steal. So they are skillful, but they are not faithful. A faithful maid who burns food every day is, is, is pointless. Lord, give me people who will make my job easier for me. I don't want people I have to keep giving them the same instructions. And they irritate and agitate me. Make me lose focus on prayer. No one can pray angry. When you are angry, the Bible says be angry but sin not. So when you are angry, you are near sin. And there are people who are anointed to anger you. They are your employees. <laughs> when you look at them, you are ready for the next frustration. Because they are anointed to frustrate you. Lord, give me faithful, skillful men. Lord, give me people who will speak on my behalf in the palace. People who will speak for me where I cannot speak. People who are heard where I am not heard. David was skillful. He knew how to play the harp. Hello? But he was not positioned to play for the king. Someone had to speak for him and say, I know a boy who is skillful. And when he got there, he played the harp with precision. He played it once and King Saul was delivered. Kawan. Yeah, look at me strange. What's going on? <laughs> Are you getting these things? He played how many times? Lord, I want the grace that when I get my one opportunity, I score. When you get a half chance, David Agapua, one chance to kill Goliath. He, he didn't miss. He killed him. Father, I want the grace to kill Goliath first time. In Zwaka, now David Akapota. He would have dealt with Goliath. He would have been dealt with by Goliath. If King Saul, after David played the harp, if he remained demonized, David was finished. If Daniel did not solve the enigma, there was a death sentence hanging over him. I must go every half chance. 
you are given an opportunity to make a presentation at bank ABC, it must be done with perfection. Deal with all the possibilities in your prayers. As my prayers are looked at, Father, I remove the veil from whoever is looking at my papers. Cause them to look at my papers with supernatural favor. Cause them to look at my papers and favor me. May they ignore the bad. May they remember only the good. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that I'll get the job. You get the job. I want the grace to perform. You get an opportunity to perform. Namo Shambira Jehovah. My half chance, guys, they say, God goes. I must dot every I and cross every T. The grace to score half chances. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you interested? Lift up your right hand. We're going to push this prayer point. Hallelujah. Father, I want the grace to score half chances. Thank you, my helper. Thank you, thank you. Powerful. Ah, yeah, yeah. Every opportunity that I get, I may get an opportunity on ZBC. Ah, but tobacco, 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 Hallelujah. I remember many years ago in the era of RG, I was given an opportunity, listen to this, to pray for food after the opening of parliament. I fasted for three days to go and pray for food. I prayed a number of midnight prayers. I prepared myself. I went through a lot of scriptures. Then we sat there. Araji was maybe like 10 meters away from me. He saw this young man in a gray suit. I was given the microphone. And I said, can we all stand? Everyone, including Araji, stood up. They got a father in the name of Jesus. I take authority over this environment. I plead the blood of Jesus upon everyone under this atmosphere. I declare and I decree, Holy Spirit take over in this environment. Let everyone under the sound of my voice be under your auspices. In the name of Jesus, I veto every power of witchcraft assigned against this parliament. I declare and I decree supernatural victory for this government. Ah, Father, I call on the angels of God. I beseech you, oh my Father, my God, release Michael for this assignment. Release Gabriel for this assignment. I declare and I decree there must be a change of story even as you are inaugurating this parliament into government. My Father, my God, it is you who has appointed them as kings. So Father, cause a change of story. I speak to the economy in the name of Jesus. I command a turn around for this economy. Jehovah, we cry out unto you for divine assistance. Oh God, do not leave us helpless. Father, take this opportunity. I bind the sanctions. In the name of Jesus and Father by the way I bless the food I sanctify it in Jesus name Amen microphone Listen to this. Zikanzi Pangwa Hondo and Wakade Hongo Arukupi Hansi Pana Mata Panis and Danswa Panis Raiti Kakwandis. Are you here? And I'm going Lord, bless our food. We sanctify it in Jesus' name. Amen. Ah! Wasting opportunity. And you know what happened? Because of that prayer, I was summoned to the president's office. 
ne prayer each calf maximize opportunities it brings me to the last one the grace to prepare for my day of glory see why i want all these prayer points please because a lot of them are not in my notes the grace to what to prepare for my day of glory many christians they just pray but they are underprepared it's true why was esther favored more than the others she was more prepared more than the others she had a relationship with mordecai and she took advantage of the mentorship and she was told by the mentor there is a specific oil that the king loves she soaked in herself in that oil every day for one year preparing for 5 minutes with the king you don't prepare 5 minutes for 5 minutes why do these sermons come like this? why can't you sit down because my ratio of preparation for ministry is taken from none other than our lord and savior jesus christ jesus took 30 years to prepare for 3 years so the ratio is 10 to 1 so for every 1 hour of preaching i prefer 10 hours at the back side you can see that a lot of prayer went into this prayer i don't then pray bandoko na wewe no when it's here it's time for performance the boxer who prepares in the boxing ring will be finished you prepare before david prepared he rose the grace to prepare your proposal must must be you must check it several times don't just write it's not just you don't going to start a company no some of you even the way you prepare your proposals you go and just photo no not in jacket or photocopy or photocopy or photocopy or photocopy it's like photocopy to the ninth generation do you know so in this ya ka feda apa ruku computer nema corporates and then some color copies so can you also bind one folder ya kanaka When you are preparing for a date, how do you prepare? You just go. Now we. Eh? Pano akonda ka ya osoto we. What is the difference? Are you prepared? Are you smelling good? Some of you is not demons. You are not prepared. Unofa na. Usato wa budamba. Ha. Check your breath. Hesta yako yaka itwa ne munhu because are next door. You didn't prepare. Manyara re manje. You know I'm shocked at some things that people wait to church. You know that go church kuno gauka kuno za deliverance. And only goes I'm going to tanga kufamba any time any and kana right ka apostle ana basa na kuti pane machair no dura. Sunday chai wakapeka ka 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 shift dress kako pano zvino ngona kuitika saka how do you prepare at home unofana unofana ngone grass ombo zvidonetsa pa grass kuti oh not zvidyaswi panzere i'm done 